I want a life of my own. Um, the next thing on my list is Priscilla, which is the uh, the new film from Sofia Coppola. Again, another director. This is a great year for directors, by the way, returning. Uh, another director I really, really enjoy. All of her work is just like at a certain level of quality that she's always able to maintain. Lost in Translation, The Virgin Suicides, I, I, Marie Antoinette. Like, I really, really enjoy her movies. And she often focuses on female-centric projects, which I think is, you know, certainly appropriate. And this is no exception with Priscilla. Um, it's actually based on uh, the 1985 book called Elvis and Me, which was written by Priscilla Presley, um, really talking about her relationship with Elvis, her eventual marriage, and then their, you know, their their inevitable divorce that, that came a few years after that. Um, Priscilla Presley also serves as an, as an executive producer on this movie and um i was excited to go see this just because you know we recently got the elvis movie from boz lerman um which had a lot of people talking and got a lot of attention especially because of austin butler's you know sort of portrayal of elvis and just the rise and and fall of him and his artistry and his just ascent as as one of the most well-known celebrities in in history really um but this was going to tell a completely different story and really be from the perspective of Priscilla. And, and overall, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really, really good film. I mean, ultimately, you know, Jacob Elordi is Elvis. He's doing some really good work here. Like the guy, again, as I said earlier, he is a star in the making, obviously, is just like so charismatic, is doing so much. You actually believe he's Elvis, even though he's definitely mm -hmm. taller than Elvis. Like Jacob Elordi's like 6'5". He's ridiculously tall, but he still embodies Elvis in such a such a great way. Um, And the costumes and the makeup and everything makes you really feel like this guy is like who he's portraying himself to be. Um, But the story is ultimately about you know the 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 um eventual you know sort of end of this relationship that develops between these two which starts off in a really really, really weird place i mean if you don't, if you don't know much about priscilla presley she started dating elvis in high school at a very young age and really in an inappropriate age he, you know he started kind of grooming her at a very young age and, and eventually she grew and, and came of age um and he was 24 but she was 14 years old when they first met and from there you kind of track that odyssey of how their relationship grew and developed over time but you also get a sense of just kind of the the control and the manipulation and and the isolation you know that's really imparted on priscilla by way of elvis and how he really he really groomed her in such a way that it, it it maintained an element of control that she could not break free from because she just believed and and bought into the idea of this of this relationship and she loved him so much but that came back to 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 really be at her detriment because he he left a lot of promises on the table he was not always completely honest in his in his in his in his other actions and his other relationships with other women and just you know, really him going away all the time and being on the road and touring and traveling and making movies while she has to just stay at home because she's not even a grown adult and she deals with all of the repercussions and the consequences and not being able to see this person that she's grown so close to. And so it's really it's really looking at him in a different light. Um, I know certain people um, who have been closely connected to Priscilla or Elvis have come out and sort of lambasted the film and said it's not it's not really accurate to who he was or how their relationship was. But that's not for me to say, you know, this is, again, based off of mm -hmm. a book at the end of the day and based off of Priscilla Presley's experience. And so if this is how she feels about it and th if this is true, then, you know, I think that the way that this is depicted really, really, you know, allows you a deeper look inside of a relationship that, you know, it feels like it's romantic on the outside and it was presented that way as like this really this really big Hollywood relationship, but kind of underneath it, if we're led to believe what was, you know, what was apparently possibly true between these two, then this was something that was definitely, I think, a little bit more tragic for Priscilla until she was able to finally get to the place and reach the place of, of, of courage to just walk away from it and to step away from it, which takes a lot. It takes a really long time to develop that and, and to get to a place where they feel comfortable because she did love this person, um, if, mm -hmm. we're, if we're led to believe all this stuff. But it's a, it's a really good movie. I think it's really solid. Kaylee Spaney, who plays Priscilla, she's a standout. I, I hadn't seen her in anything before this, but love what she brought to the role, all the nuance and the depth and the, and the quiet nature of the performances too. Um, I guess the only criticism is really that some of the scenes become repetitive. You know, I think you kind of, you kind of see Ellis, you know, Elvis leave, he goes to tour, he'll make a movie and then he comes back and you'll see like the next interaction between the two, like they'll spend a weekend together and you just kind of see how that all unfolds. And that mm -hmm. happens over and over and over again um, across like various time periods. So it's a little bit repetitive, but I think again, if you're able to get past that, if you enjoy Sophia Coppola's work and just like what she decides to put her focus and attention on, I think this is something that's uh that's a pretty good experience. Hmm. Sophia Coppola, man, I need to watch <laughs> some of her movies. Man, I haven't seen not a one. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to get on that.